my name is Serge Lewowski. I'm the founder of Altostata, a company that provides a unique patented approach to data security for AI and ML. I spent eight years at MIT Lincoln Lab, where I performed cybersecurity research funded by Department of Defense. Before MIT, I worked for several companies in the US and Israel, including Sun Microsystems, Cisco, and various startups. Uh, most recently, I managed Cloud Security Group in Capital One. I am a member of the MIT Sloan School of Management Cybersecurity Consortium and have been a guest speaker at MIT cybersecurity classes and conferences. Alex Kangun, CEO of Athena Solution. Uh, we are a data management data consulting company. Uh, we established 20 years ago by ex PricewaterhouseCoopers partners. We're working heavily helping clients with their data management roadmap needs. And of course, important part of the roadmap is data security, data sensitivity, how the data get protected, but at the same time, how that can be derived value. And then in some cases, it's a conflicting situation. So hope we can discover it through the, our discussion. Let me start with controversial statement. People looking at the data security, data privacy as an overhead versus it can be looked at the guidance it's uh, it's somebody else mistake somebody else problem and it's also framework help as a framework how to secure and uh, enable your data for analytics and analysis uh, so uh, there is a there is no magic rule there maybe Serge will have magic answer <laughs> for it but there's it's monitoring have the list of zero trust policy enabling uh, available the only people that have limited access and they can access only to what they need. Uh, and as I mentioned in the introduction, what I mostly interact with the problem in terms of like when the analysis or some data need for analytics, and it cannot be available in the raw format because it presents some challenges for security. And the more successful organization find a way to deal with it. Yeah, there are two aspects of this. Well, the first aspect is software technology, another aspect is procedures. So, from the third, uh, software technology perspective, it can be encryption, multi factor authentication, data anonymizing, tokenization, uh, fine grain access management and users control over their data and, and also backups uh, to not to lose information. From the procedure perspective, it's uh, data access minimization, uh, employee training, incident response plan related to uh, also resilience. So the company should be resilient to attack when it happened. And the technology should not limit data usability. For example, in many cases, zero trust technology can do it. And that's why there is a need to find a good balance between technologies and procedures. Resilience is very important. Every company will be attacked. It's a you know, fact of life. How they react to it, what they will do, how they will minimize impact. This is what the process and procedure, this is what it will have to be in place. Uh, data poisoning is actually the new threat and it's related to AI and ML. <laughs> the models are trained on the data. So if you poison the data, you garbage in, garbage out, you poison the model. So according to Google research report, an attacker only needs to control 0.01% of the data set store it at the data lake to poison the entire AI model. And that's huge. So if, uh, and currently model is trained on multiple data sources. So if attacker only has access to one of these data sources, this minimal access can uh, destroy the entire business process of the company. And that's related, for example, in, in healthcare, 
they work with uh, supply chain security act that uh, impacts on the drug that they discover and you poison the data you poison the drug so many companies now exploring this area it's, it's a new so there are several technologies that currently companies uh, uh, imply for example check some verification so company use blockchain to store the hash uh, which represent uh, checksum for each file or each block on of information another option is uh, data encryption solution it's hard to poison the encrypted data uh, some algorithm like AS-256, if you encrypt the data, it's hard to poison, but uh, ideally if the company use combination of checksum verification and encryption. So the data governance is a big project, big undertaking. And security is part of it, not, not the only one part, but a critical part, and it's touching every uh, subject area on the data governance and the processes on the management of the operations and then on the logical side <clears throat> so it needs to be again go back to the uh, policies uh, the policy and procedure need to be updated and need to be monitored there are stuff there are